Hey guys, welcome back. I, I know I'm sorry. It's, you know, I really haven't done a whole lot of videos this week, but it's not because I'm not doing something. Uh, let's just say I've been wearing the same. I don't want to tell you this. Hopefully you find out tomorrow or the next day. Not that it's a big fucking deal. It's just, I want to do something a little different. So I, uh, I've been wearing something all week, basically. Uh, last three or four days anyway. And, uh, I want to kind of talk about this particular fragrance for certain reasons, and I'll get into it tomorrow or the next day when I talk about it. But for now, I'm going to try to give you a quick little, maybe not quick, but a but a holdover video. Um, because I wanted to give you something, because I know it's been like a couple days since I posted a video, and it's been a few days since I posted an actual fragrance video. So, and I know some of you's, some of you's look forward to them. Some of you like to hate watch. Either way, you missed me. So, uh, so I'm going to give you five. Uh, another list video, I know. And I'm really only doing it because I can do it without having to wear the fragrance and test it and stuff. So, stuff I've already worn a few times. And uh, so I kind of know. Um, but anyway. Five green fragrances. Now, when I say green, I don't necessarily mean, you know, pine and resins and stuff like that. They just have a tint. They got a mint, kind of a grassy, woody vetiver in them. Uh, some herbs. Um, they can be sweet. They can be dry. They can be barbershop-y. They can be a lot of things. And there's pretty much a fragrance here for everybody's taste, to tell you the truth. Um... So remember that when I say green, and they're all green bottles too, which is in the green hat. It's kind of matching. Didn't do it on purpose, but hey, shit happens. Um, so let's get right into it. And these aren't, like I said, aren't reviews. Just kind of give you a quick little, couple little notes and what it smells like, stuff like that. Um, the first one is going to be Avon Mesmerize Ultimate. Um, classified as an aromatic fragrance. That's pretty much it. Uh Green citrus pomelo and a green woody patchouli. Um, that's the basic, like I said, there's a lot more going on than that, and there will be with these fragrances, but that's the basic green aspects of it, right? Uh, <clears throat> it's a fresh, uh, little sweet, fruity citrus on top of a green woody patchouli. You get some lavender in there, blah, 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 but that's basically the scent, and it's Believe it or not, relatively modern. It would be the most modern youthful of the bunch, believe it or not, with that sweet, fruity aspect off the top and the aromatics and the wood. Um, some people have compared it to Aventus. It's not at all like Aventus, other than it's got fruit on the top, woods in the base. But a lot of fragrances have that. Uh, you know, definitely more of a modern type scent. Um, the most youthful of the bunch, but you know, it's, it's anybody can wear this one, you know, performance is okay. Good compliment factor, all that jazz. Um, next is eternity intense. Definitely more for you old school lovers out there like me or old men like me. Um, classified as a woody aromatic. Uh, the green notes in this are the, the, uh, mostly the, the better for, and the rhubarb, um, a green tart rhubarb, and a woody grassy vetiver is why it's got that green scent to it. Again, a lot more going on, some herbs, some like lavender, of course, lots of lavender in this, uh, some citruses, you know, but that's the basic green aspect of this fragrance. Um, it's basically a green aromatic barber shop, powdery, it's got iris in there, Iris is actually really noticeable off the top, but it's not your makeup-y kind of iris. It's just more of the floral powdery kind of iris. Uh, yeah, and that's a beautiful scent, actually. You know, that iris is pretty dominant in this. Yeah, you smell the green and you smell the iris right away. It's actually a really nice combo. You're picking up on the, like I said, the tart green rhubarb and a crap ton of iris and a hint of lavender right off the top, some citrus. 
Performance is okay. Compound factor, 50-50. It's an older school fragrance. You know, it's a fougere. It's got aspects of the original Eternity. Um, it smells nice, but it may not be for you younger men out there looking for the next big Invictus. You know, it's, it's definitely not that. But it, it is good. It is good. Especially if you if you appreciate classic fragrances. It's really good. Just so nice. Um, next is Greenwood D squared. Uh, really grew on me. Most of you know when I first got it, I didn't like it. But uh, it's really grown on me the last couple times I've worn it. Uh, woody aromatic. Your green notes in this are pretty much vetifer and cypher oil. Uh, it's got that woody hay like vetifer, little earthy green mossy smell. To it. Oh, the moss too, uh, and uh, yeah, just a musky woody earthy kind of scent. Um, performance again, okay. Compliment factor, okay. Uh, it's got a gentlemanly vibe to it. You know, more on the lines of most of your vetifer scents. They're a little more mature and masculine than. You know, your, your sweeter stuff. But still, anybody could wear that one. Jeez, that eternity is nice. Uh, the next two, either one could be my favorite. Uh, I'll go right now with the Vetifer by Soli Notes. A surprise hit by Soli Notes. It's cheap. Um, but it really surprised me how much I like this. I reach for, as you can see, that's a lot for me to wear of a fragrance. Um so woody woody vetifer or woody aromatic is classified that vetifer and mint are the main two players in this one obviously being called vetifer uh, again it's that green woody kind of vetifer and a green mint when you first spray this on that mint is absolutely gorgeous it's not overly sweet a little even dry almost but it's a gorgeous mint you smell it right from the bottle just gorgeous. Uh, fresh, slightly sweet green mint. Spices and a woody vetifer. Great scent. If you can find it in your local neck of the woods, pick it up. It's cheap. It's like $20. Uh, performance is an issue. You know, four or five hours. You know, it's not the best performer. But, you know, perfect for the summertime. If, you, if you're tired of just citruses and aquatics, this will work great. I actually really love that stuff. Next is going to be the Polo Cologne Intense. Probably my favorite. Definitely my favorite Polo. Probably my favorite green scent of all time, actually, believe it or not. Um, you've heard me talk about this a couple times now. If you haven't tried this, at least try it. Um, it's an aromatic fougere. You know, it's green notes are basil, mint, violet leaf, feta fur, now kind of a green woody patchouli. Um, a nice sharp mint basil combination off the top with a top of a good base woody vetifer kind of base gorgeous absolutely has that polo dna sorry technical difficulties but we're back now yeah like i said um just a beautiful scent uh, it's got a hint of that original polo dna and it's very modernized uh Modern gentleman, basically. It's very nice fragrance. Very nice fragrance. So, anyway, guys, that's it. Just to keep you tied over. Nothing nothing too fancy. Uh, I do like green scents. I like them pretty much over most blue scents. Although I do like blue scents. I said Zavage is still great. I don't care what anyone says. Blue de Chanel is good. Just has performance issues for that price. Um, blah, blah, blah. Dylan Blue. But I, I'm, I'd be more into the green type scents than I would be. The green woody scents. Now, my favorite scents, we all know, are like spicy scents and stuff. But uh, these aren't bad, guys. Give them a try. Give every one of them a try if you can. Especially the Soli Notes Vetiver, because I find that's probably the one most people wouldn't even look at twice. But it's, it's a surprise hit for me anyway. All right, guys, that's it. Peace, love, be good to each other, and be good to yourselves.